Welcome back to Christian Faith Streams, your go-to channel for exploring the profound mysteries of the Christian faith. Today's topic is both captivating and deeply rooted in biblical teachings. We're going to dive into the key verses that unveil the role of angels in spiritual warfare. So grab your Bible, get comfortable, and let's embark on this enlightening journey together. Before we delve into the biblical verses, let's establish a foundational understanding. In Christianity, angels are considered celestial beings created by God with a divine purpose to serve and fulfill His will. Now let's explore how the Bible sheds light on their involvement in spiritual warfare. The Bible provides us with key verses that illuminate the role of angels in the cosmic battle between good and evil. One of the central figures is the Archangel Michael, mentioned in the book of Daniel and Revelation, often depicted as a leader in the heavenly armies fighting against malevolent forces. In the book of Daniel in the Old Testament, the mention of Michael the Archangel occurs in chapter 10 and chapter 12. In chapter 10, Michael is described as one of the chief princes who comes to assist Daniel. He is portrayed as a powerful and protective angel. In chapter 12, Michael is mentioned as the great prince who stands guard over the people of Israel during a time of trouble. The book of Daniel presents Michael as a celestial being with a special role in the divine order, often associated with protection and divine intervention. Daniel chapter 10 verse 13, which describes the angelic encounter between Daniel and a celestial being, possibly Michael the archangel. In this verse, the angelic being sent to Daniel is delayed in reaching him due to opposition from the prince of the kingdom of Persia. The term prince here is often interpreted as a powerful spiritual being or a celestial being with authority over Persia. Daniel 10 verse 13 states, But the prince of the Persian kingdom resisted me 21 days. Then Michael, one of the chief princes, came to help me because I was detained there with the king of Persia. This verse suggests that Michael, identified as one of the chief princes, intervened to assist the angelic messenger in overcoming the resistance from the spiritual opposition in the heavenly realms. The term king of Persia may refer to a demonic or spiritual force influencing the earthly kingdom of Persia. The narrative implies a cosmic struggle or battle in the spiritual realm, where angelic beings like Michael are engaged in overcoming opposing forces to fulfill divine purposes. It underscores the idea that behind earthly events, there are spiritual forces at play, and celestial beings like Michael play a role in the unfolding of God's plan. The mention of Michael coming to help emphasizes his role as a powerful defender and warrior against spiritual adversaries. Turning to Psalm 91, verse 11 to 12, we find a comforting assurance. For he will command his angels concerning you to guard you in all your ways. On their hands they will bear you up, lest you strike your foot against a stone. These verses emphasize the protective role of angels, ensuring believers are shielded from harm in their spiritual journey. Revelation 12 verses 7 through 9 unveils a cosmic battle in the spiritual realm. Now war arose in heaven, Michael and his angels fighting against the dragon. And the dragon and his angels fought back, but he was defeated, and there was no longer any place for them in heaven. And the dragon and his angels fought back, but he was defeated, and there was no longer any place for them in heaven. In heaven. Here we witness the Archangel Michael leading heavenly forces in a victorious battle against the forces of darkness. Hebrews 1 verse 14 describes angels as ministering spirits sent to serve those who will inherit salvation. In the context of spiritual warfare, this verse highlights the active role of angels in assisting and ministering to believers reinforcing the notion that they are intricately involved in the divine plan. Matthew 4 verse 11 is a verse from the New Testament of the Bible. It is part of the account of Jesus' temptation in the wilderness. The verse states, Then the devil left him, and angels came and attended him. 
This moment follows Jesus' resistance to the temptations presented by the devil. After successfully overcoming the temptations, the devil departs and angels arrive to minister to Jesus, providing him with comfort and support. This episode is significant in portraying Jesus' victory over temptation and the divine care he receives in moments of trial. As we conclude our exploration of the role of angels in spiritual warfare through key biblical verses, it's evident that these celestial beings play a crucial part in the cosmic battle between good and evil. The Bible provides us with insights into their protective, combative, and ministerial roles, guiding believers through the complexities of the spiritual realm. In the context of deliverance ministry, angels are believed to play a crucial role in assisting individuals in their spiritual warfare and liberation from demonic influences. The concept is often rooted in religious or spiritual beliefs that involve the presence of spiritual entities, both angels and demons. In deliverance ministry, angels are seen as divine beings sent to protect, guide, and aid individuals in their quest for spiritual freedom. This assistance may involve battling demonic forces, providing strength and support, and facilitating the process of deliverance through prayer and spiritual intervention. It's important to note that beliefs and practices related to deliverance ministry can vary among different religious traditions and denominations. It's essential to recognize that beliefs and practices related to deliverance ministry can vary widely among different Christian denominations and other religious traditions. While some emphasize the active involvement of angels, others may approach deliverance ministry in different ways or may not incorporate these beliefs at all. The understanding of angels' role in deliverance is deeply rooted in the specific theological perspectives of the individuals or communities involved. We can activate angels by speaking God's word. They are listening for his word. When we speak his word, angels start working. Thank you for joining us on this biblical journey on Christian faith streams. If you found this exploration enriching, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video with fellow believers. For more in-depth discussions on Christian faith and biblical insights, stay tuned to Christian Faith Streams. Until next time, may the angels of God guard and guide you in your faith journey. God bless.